that with that, man. I was looking uh, through Facebook and stuff earlier today, man. And so Killer Mike and them starting this uh this online bank thing. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Which, I saw which, that. And you know they named it uh Greenwood. Mm-hmm. You know after the uh what is it the the Tulsa, the Tulsa massacre or whatnot, the Black Wall Street mm-hmm. I think it was. Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken. And you know, I really think it's dope and I read into it a little bit. And it's uh they're they're giving people bank accounts. They're also doing like little classes or seminars about, you know, your finances and mm-hmm. budgeting and all this other stuff. And they're also offering like a ten thousand dollar grant for black and Latinx. Did I say that right? I don't know if I said it right, mm-hmm. but sure. Latinx. Yeah, Latinx folks you know, a $10,000 grant for them to get a business. And I think that's really, really dope. The mm-hmm. The only thing I am, the only thing I'm kind of wavy about, it's basically change, for lack of a better term. Because mm-hmm. I've been with the same bank since like 2006. But I want to support this. I want to get behind this because sure. it's, it's, it's really dope. That stuff we've been needing to do for the longest and these brothers is actually doing it shout out mm-hmm. to killer mike the former mayor of atlanta and um the the gentleman who runs bounce tv i think it is if i'm not saying that no incorrectly. Oh, um, shout out to them because they're the ones that's actually doing it so it, it's a start in the right direction for our community as a whole mm-hmm. so i was just curious on what you thought about it man um i don't know if yeah. you know if you've seen it or not yeah i've been been following it a little bit i hadn't looked into it in great detail because kind of like you it's it's not even it is the change but for me i've got what i call financial systems in place and and when you learn about like managing your money Mm. you you want to deal with it yourself as little as possible you want to take you out of the equation as much as you can Uh, so that way you don't do anything stupid so So my me buying a polka dot flamingo is out huh i mean yes and no i mean if you have your money set aside to buy stupid shit like a polka dot flamingo. You do that, <laughs> but the it becomes stupid when you know you didn't bought this polka dot flamingo and whatever else you bought, and you trying to you you go on overdrafts on your account or mm-hmm. you got serious credit card debt. And yeah. so for me, right now with the bank that I'm set up, with, I have multiple little accounts to cover you know certain things. So. When, when you know something happens in the house or something happens to the car or Simone who grows like a weed these new clothes mm-hmm. um, it just comes from that account and um, stuff like that is paid for so really it's kind of changed like you said mm-hmm. but it's really about being lazy to be honest with you and I don't know if they'll give me the same level of functionality that I need from my bank I mean, I think in the future I'll probably uh put a savings account there mm-hmm. and, and and just just to support. But um And that's as far what I was as thinking about home, too. Yeah. Just a simple just a savings account, like you said, just to support it. Cause mm-hmm. I'm I'm with it hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? I'm with it. Yeah. Uh, I mean I like the idea. I mean, I like the idea of financial education too. Mm-hmm. Um I'm big on that over the last three, four, five years maybe, um, financial education. And I, I've learned a lot over the years, and I try to share it with everybody I can. So yeah, and I appreciate you sharing it with me, man, because I definitely learned some stuff and did a 360 on how I was doing things before, man. So yeah, man, I I'm even, proud of you, little brother. Hey, man, I, I managed to raise my credit score up, bro, by at least 40 points, man. And that's we had this conversation what beginning of last year, I think, in around yeah. this time last year, something like. So it's only been a year, and I managed to yeah. raise mine up like 40 points. That's good. Keep going. Keep going. Got to, man. Yeah. So, so I got a theory going back to uh, the new normal. Okay. You, you want to hear my theory? And and I saw something floating about it uh, earlier this week. So um, it might not even be as much as a theory. So right about now, um, we're recording this mid October. Um, it'll probably make it to YouTube probably just before or just after the election. So. Yep. Um, all that craziness will be over. Um, or will it? We'll see. Um, but um, I think that whoever's in office when this is all over and the second stimulus comes through, 
you know how we're talking about Denver, Colorado, when weed and all that stuff? Mm-hmm. I, I've heard it talks about decriminalizing certain amounts of marijuana in certain places. Yeah. What I think is going to happen is it, it's going to be a uh, it's going to be legalized because what I'm thinking about is with the stimulus, they cost money mm-hmm. and tax cuts cost money. And how do you, you, you got to think of ways to bring revenue. You think about when we went to Denver and you hear from people all the time saying that once they made things legal, yeah, they were in tax booming. surplus. Yeah. So yeah, they, they had all booming. kind of money. And that's the same thing for the other States, Washington, mm-hmm. uh, Cali, of course, they doing